I'm Jacqueline Allen with the latest from Denver 7. A new fire in Boulder County is already forcing families out of their homes. The Calwood fire sparked Saturday afternoon and now the town of Jamestown is under mandatory evacuation orders. Roads and highways in, are closed in the area and pre-evacuation orders have been issued for surrounding areas. Colorado's largest wildfire on record is also growing. High winds, a huge challenge for crews Saturday. The Cameron Peak wildfire has burned more than 187,000 acres so far, nearly as large as Denver and Aurora combined. Now at this point, that fire is just 57% contained. And new evacuations forced more families out of their homes Saturday. Mandatory and voluntary evacuation orders stretch all the way from the Wyoming border to Horsetooth Reservoir. Coronavirus cases are rising sharply in Colorado, prompting concerns of a fall surge. Today, our state reported more than 1,100 new cases. That marks four days in a row of more than 1,000 new cases, and it brings our total to more than 84,000 since the pandemic began. The number of hospital beds in use due to the virus stands, though, at 428. That's above the low point of around 200 we saw in early September, but it is far below the peak of nearly 1300 we had back in April. After weeks of delays, the Broncos are in New England, ready to take on the Patriots Sunday. But Broncos running backs coach Curtis Mod Modkins tested positive for COVID-19 and will not be with the team. The NFL says the game will go on as planned. Hey Colorado, I'm Katie LaSalle with this weather update. We have seen extremely gusty winds over higher elevations, especially above about 8,000 feet this afternoon. Tonight into tomorrow, we get a little bit of relief from the wind and the high fire danger into the mountains and foothills. And we are tracking a couple of weak fronts. One will arrive tomorrow, another on Wednesday. But for this evening, expect some cooler conditions. Breezy at times, 35 degrees for a low and highs across the plains tomorrow, only in the 40s and 50s from Denver up through Fort Collins and Greeley. And this has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thank you for joining us. Check back here later tonight for another update and download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Jacqueline Allen.